Alright guys, in this video I want to show you how to calculate the average atomic mass when you're given the isotopic abundance. Basically all that this is is they're giving you different isotopes of the element boron here. You have isotope boron 10 and boron if you can read that 11. Now um, what you're going to do is basically you're just going to do kind of like an average problem. You're going to convert the percentages into decimals and then once you convert these into decimals you're going to multiply them by the respecting atomic mass unit this U right here. Kind of think of like the U being in grams but it's really not grams because the atomic mass unit is based off of the carbon-12 atom. Anyway that's another problem and another day. Alright so let's go ahead and get started. We have two isotopes that are given to us and those two isotopes are uh, boron 10 and boron 11. Now they tell us that uh, the boron 10 is in 80, well excuse me, is in 19.8 percent abundance. That means that of the element boron that's made up of the two isotopes, boron 10, boron 11, 19.8 percent of it is the boron 10 isotope. That means that the remaining percent, <coughs> the 80.2 percent, is actually made up of boron 11 isotope. Meaning the uh, atomic weight of the boron is closer to the boron 11 because 80% of it is boron 11 while really just 20% of it is boron 10. We'll see that in the end because when we look at their masses we're going to take these percentage and multiply it by their, excuse me, not their masses but their atomic mass units. So here we're going to multiply by, that dots multiply, we're going to multiply by <coughs> the 19.8 percent of boron 10 by the mass of it the 10.0129 atomic mass units so that's 10.0129 U and down here you're going to multiply boron 11 by the percentage for 80.2 percent by 11. Point O O nine three U. So basically what we have here is the following. We have <coughs> um I'm gonna convert these into decimal. Zero point one nine eight times ten point O one two nine U and we have zero point eight O two times eleven point oh oh nine three u. The only reason I didn't write it here is I, f I was afraid I'd run out of room and I am going to run out of room. But anyway, once I convert everything into decimals <coughs> I can now use a calculator. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two together and you know these two together then these two together you get two unique numbers. <coughs> So that's 0.198 times 10.0129. And that will give me 1.9825542. On this other one down here, that's 0 0.802 times 11.0093U. Anyway, that gives me 8.829456. <clears throat> now, if you remember your rules of sig figs, um, we should really just keep three sig figs on the top because this has three, this has like six, this one has three, this has like you know six. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. So basically this 1.98 yada 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 should really just be 
1.98 okay and this 8.82 yada 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 should be really 8.83 okay now basically what we're going to do is we're going to add these up now remember these are used that we have here now we add this up 8 plus 3 11 carry the 1 10 plus 8 <coughs> is 18 write down 8 carry your 1 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10 so we end up getting that the average atomic mass of this boron is 10.81 u now here's something that you should be interested in knowing if uh, you look at a periodic table uh, which I don't I might not have one handy I think I've got one here though uh, boron on the periodic table you can't read mine, but it says it's 10.81. Maybe I can zoom in for you really quickly so you can see that. On uh, my periodic table, it's kind of blurry, but that's 10.81. Okay, not a little bit blurry, but a lot blurry. Anyway, I just want to show and prove that to you. But that's how you know you're on the right track, and if you did the problems right. That's if they're not giving you a crazy unknown element that's fictitiously made up. But anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, if you need to, watch the video over and over and over to make sure you got it down. Alright, well, I hope it helped.